Hello everyone, Ian here from Able City in Burbank and I'm in the conference room here with these big windows because we're going to check out CR LS from the Lightbridge. CRLS stands for Cine Reflective Lighting System and these are a series of reflectors that have different inherent qualities in them that can create different types of lighting moods and we're going to do this using one light stand and one light to reflect in here. We're going to augment the light coming in from the window but we're going to create very different looks with the exact same equipment. All we're going to do is change out the reflectors. So I'm going to show you how these reflectors, the quality of the light, we're going to put them onto a wall so you can see that first. And then we'll do a series of portraits in here and take a look at what they look like when they're augmenting uh, this daylight source in here. I want to show you how this works uh, when we mount it. So I have this adapter. It's a baby pin on one side and then it has the dovetail to uh, a track that's on every uh, reflector. So I'm simply going to line it up, slide it in, turn it to tighten it and now I can take my baby put it onto my pin here and I have it on a Matthews piece so I can pivot this and the idea is that I'm going to uh, locate that source and then I'm going to bounce it to my subject. Before I show you the patterns of the different reflectors I want to show you how I'm building this. I am taking a compact bean light one this is a daylight Fresnel with a pipe clamp attached to it, pointed it on the base of my stand, pointed it up to my reflector, and in line with my uh, light, I have optionally put a variac. This is a BBNS variac, and so I can control the amount of luminance from my variac, and then I control the quality and the spread of the light from my reflector. Starting off with reflector number one. Reflector number one has the uh, most concentrated uh, reflection. It is the uh, most efficient transfer of light from your lighting instrument to the reflector to your subject. And as you can see, it's a very concentrated light and we get the hard shadows associated with it. And the transmission of light off of this reflector is directly related to the amount of light I push into it uh, from my lighting instrument. So I'm using this small Fresnel for this demonstration, but as I mentioned earlier, uh, these come in different sizes and you're not limited to a Fresnel. You could certainly use Lico's uh, because Lico's we can again change the amount of light going into them and they also have lenses so that we can concentrate uh, the volume of light onto a specific area and make it uh, the transmission as efficient as possible. So here I'm on a number two and as you can see the pattern has already started to spread out and I'm getting less defined edges, more diffused, a little softer shadows and that wider pattern so a little more diffused also. If I loosen this, I can move this around and I can concentrate that on any part of the frame that I want. The only limitation I have is the size of the reflective area that I've chosen to work with and by using different sizes of these you've got more options. I want to show you one more thing to go any further and that is think about this as this could be your base for your overall lighting then maybe you want to use another one to concentrate or accentuate another part of the frame. Let me uh, step off frame. I'm going to grab, this is the number one. Now watch what happens. I can fly in number one and now I could take that and I could go in and I could accentuate another part of the frame. Now I'm using the same size number one reflector as I've got active right here, but I can get these in different sizes. The smallest is say three by three square. If I have that tiny little one, now I could go in there and I could use the same lighting source to go in and just accentuate one part of the frame. So really interesting opportunities uh, with these reflectors. On top of the type of light we can paint with, let's say the overall uh, quality of light that we're painting with here, we can go in and use smaller ones and add accents to the lighting that we're establishing. 
Here with number three reflector, you can definitely see this is really pronounced now. We're starting to get into the softer quality of light. Uh, things are easing off into the edges of my seamless here, and we're going to get more of that soft light quality that will wrap around subjects. I've installed number four reflector, and as you can see, this is a very diffused quality of light. I haven't changed the iris on the lens, and I haven't changed the output of the Fresnel, but you can see that the transmission is significantly different from, not only in quantity, but in quality from number one. So I'm gonna up the output on my Fresnel here just a slight bit. Just a little bit more here. Okay, that's good. Okay, now that we've seen the throw of these different reflectors and their qualities, let's go back into the conference room and I want to do a series of portraits. That wraps up my look at the CRLS or the Cine Reflector Lighting System from the Lightbridge. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.